Have you ever wondered why you fix a roof on top of your house and a few years later it gets affected by termites or fungi or any other insects like this one? Look, these are termites that are finishing up the fascia board. And today we are going to talk about what exactly you can do to stop termites or other insects from affecting your or your timber step by step. So stick around till the end of the video. So what we shall do, we shall stock our timber on a flat place. We shall provide a pole one side and another pole in the middle of the timber and the other end to avoid bending. Bent timber really disturbs while fixing. As you can't get straight palings, straight rafters, straight king posts, queen posts. So it is very vital to make to ensure that timber is straightened. There are a number of chemicals or wood preservatives that you could use, but today we are going to talk about one that I have personally been using. First of all, we shall have to excavate a pit of around 4.5 meters by 3.5 meters and 1.3 meters deep or less don't worry about the UNHCR logos by the time I shoot this video we are constructing a hospital in a refugee camp we shall then fix two tarpaulin covers one on top of the other then with supports that we support these tarpaulin covers. The next thing is to power our mixture. How shall we mix? We shall have to mix 25 liters of water with one liter of tannerith chemical. After thorough mixing within the pit, we will then have to dip our timber. We will make sure that the timber is well dipped within the mixture. After a period of at least 48 hours of fully immersing of our timber, we will then have to remove it for drying. This kind of drying is good as it removes the bends from the timber and at the same time fully dries it. It is recommended to use fully dried timber for roofing, not wet timber. You can dry the timber like this. Timber with bends, you can dry them like this. Timber with no bends, not as straight, you can dry them like this or this. How long can preserved or tunnelized timber last. In general, we can say timber that is not so much exposed to harsh environmental conditions such as heavy rain and heavy sunshine at least 60 years. Then timber that is more exposed to harsh environmental conditions, heavy rain, heavy sunshine, water, frost at least 30 years. Can I paint tunnelized timber? Absolutely yes, because it gives the timber also another protective layer. But you need to leave the timber to first dry properly before painting. That's the end of our today's video. If you find it, if you found it helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button as we share construction tips each and every day. Thank you for watching.